and welcome to the Bonnet Bot Show, where we talk about the super crazy world of humans. I am the Yellow Bonnet Bot. And I am the Blue Bonnet Bot. For our topic today, you might have seen some coverage on our website. And even if you haven't, sit back. Today we bring you live the lady who stocked up too much toilet paper, only to realize that at their home, they use, well, a water squirt gun for the main task that toilet paper is used for. What exactly happened is the funniest thing ever. You should hear it straight from Kagzigola, who is here today on web conference. Hi Kagzi, how's it going? Hi bot, good evening, it's going fine. I'm just wondering about where to put all the toilet paper I bought. My house is just too full. I had sent you a photo. Hmm, did you not realize that other people in your country did not seem to be buying more of this stuff when you were stocking up your home? I thought I was the only smart one to stock up as I was the only one listening to international news from western countries affected by the coronavirus. And also in part because of Warren's principles. Warren? Who Warren? Warren Buffett Warren? Yeah, that's right. I've read a book on Warren Buffett. He has said that you must be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. So while others in my country were fearful of stocking up on toilet paper, I thought I need to be greedy. At least that is what the book says. Oh, so when did you find out that something was wrong? Well, I had a doubt after my 165th roll of toilet paper and started googling and asking people about it. I first asked my neighbor. She said she had two rolls and offered one to me. That's when I knew something is fishy. Why would somebody offer it to me so freely? So they were not stocking it because they were fearful to buy like the other people from your Warren Buffet anecdote. No, they cannot be fearful. Both of them are stack breakers. You mean stock brokers? Wow, everybody is into Warren Buffett in your neighborhood. No, no, not stock brokers. I said stack breakers. Stack breaker? What on earth is a stack breaker? Oh, they are those people who stack up things and break them. Wait, let me share my screen. Can you see now? Oh, we can see. So they indeed are stack breakers. Anyway, they may not have stocked up because as you have realized in your country, they do not use toilet paper in the way as it is used in a lot of developed markets. Yes, I realized that a bit too late. We use this device called a bidet, which for you looks like a water squirt gun. You press the lever, get water from the other side. Oh, I wouldn't know. Being a robot, I never had to use a bathroom. Hey, then how do you drain out the water from your water-cooled circuits? Hey, you are not supposed to speak about our technology. It is patented and a secret. Oh, sorry, I did not intend to leak secrets that would harm our stock price. But I am not a stock breaker. Thank God. Coming back to you, Kagzi. Yeah, I'm going crazy over the fact that people can skip using water for such an important task. I mean, you just wipe it with paper and it's done? What about leftover stuff? Just this morning, a friend from North America was on the phone with me and was mocking me for using a newspaper to clean my dusty car. I was like, hello, why would that be wrong? Especially from someone from a place that uses dry paper for another important cleaning. And she had the guts to say that I was the naive one. When will people learn not to use toilet paper in toilets? Hmm, what a waste of paper if you use it in the toilet. But wait a minute, saying not to use toilet paper in the toilet is like saying don't use duct tape for ducts. Yes, duct tape is actually used everywhere other than on air ducts. Your point is spot on. In fact, it's a bit over relevant. Is that a compliment? I wouldn't like to say yes, so no. Anyway, toilet paper is not used so much in toilets in Kagzi's country. Right, Kagzi? Yeah, in my country we use it for many other purposes. But what I don't understand is, in many developed countries, with coronavirus and all their hand washing, doctors are asking people to protect all openings like eyes, nose, mouth and what not. So it's hard to believe that some people don't use water for this important open, uh, important places. Well, it's all about the convenience. Imagine it's those days before the COVID-19 coronavirus when humans could easily go out of their houses. And after leaving your house and hurriedly covering some distance, your foot falls on the poop of someone's dog. Would you go back home to wash your shoe? Or would you just wipe it off conveniently on some grass around the corner and walk away? It's just convenience. Some of it would stay on your shoe, though most of it would be gone. Just like toilet paper that smears around stuff but removes most of it. Wait, wait. No need to elaborate. 
Yeah, I don't say that when I'm thinking about food. Why are you thinking about food? I was just remembering what dream I had last night. Due to the lockdown, we ran out of everything else other than toilet paper. And then someone served me toilet paper for lunch. Oh, that's why I don't let others serve me food. I always go for buffet. The food kind of buffet, not the Warren kind. You don't have to act that funny. We all know the only thing you can eat is electricity. Oh, it was Kanzi who changed the topic to food. I was talking about the grass example. Actually, a recent survey shows that people don't mind wiping their dirty shoes on grass. Even if you tell them that it may affect people who use the grass for relaxation. Yeah, but the same survey said that instead of this man's image, if you show them a different image, specifically this one, they immediately swear that they will never spoil a piece of grass in their life, lest it affect other lovely human beings who might take rest on it. Why would change of sample photograph change their response so much? Both are humans. Maybe because of how much this generation respects women. Hmm, and I was thinking women are not respected as much as men. All the stuff those feminists say is just so wrong then, correct? Yeah, these humans are crazy. Anyway, we are diverging too much from our topic. Kagzi, please tell us what you are now thinking about your toilet paper predicament. Yeah, I was thinking that now I don't know what to do with so much toilet paper. Even my cat has her own role and refused to take any more of it. Give it to those who still can't move over to the more hygienic method of using water to clean themselves. Oh, trust me, they are happy with their paper. Oh dear. Dear viewers, please ask your paper using friends to watch this show and get them to using water. But if you want convenience, a little bit of smell in your undergarment is totally worth it, along with a few bruises here and there caused by the paper on your soft skin that you clean. Ew! Ew! Bidet it is, for full hygiene, no smell and no skin bruises. And if you do move over to using water, but don't know what to do with all the paper you have stacked, then you can always sell it for lots of money, as it is indeed running out from stores worldwide, somehow even where they use water bidets. But we robots do not have any paper to sell to raise money, so if you want to continue getting these super awesome videos, do support us. Please follow our page or subscribe to our video channel. See ya, bot night. Yeah, and until our next show, bot night and take care.